windy today. I don't know if it's going to work. Got a lot of signs out here. I was um, approached by someone through Google Page on the internet that wants to do an interview from Emory, a student in journalism, wants to interview me for um, you know, freedom of speech, an article about freedom of speech. Um, I found that kind of interesting because I don't consider what I'm doing out here uh, practicing my freedom of speech. I, I, I see it more carrying on a conversation or maybe even a neighborhood watch. Okay. I'm, later I'm going to fan that. I'm going to try, but it's a little too windy for um, um, flag bending. But last night as I was out here fan dancing, uh, just before it got dark, um, there wasn't there wasn't hardly any traffic. But uh, uh, we were kind of in between the oh wait yesterday was Saturday, so there was hardly any traffic at all. Um, but as I was fan dancing down that way, I saw a medium-sized black dog uh, cutting across that way, across the street, up the hill, and it stood in the yard. And then, I, and then a car came along and startled the dog, and then the dog ran, continued running into the woods over the top of the hill and disappeared. Well, I didn't see anybody, you know, following the dog or with the dog, so I became concerned maybe it had a gate from one of my neighbor's yard. So I'm dressed, out here, dressed, dressed up looking like a fool uh, in my uh, thought monkey outfit um, with the tail and all that. Um, I know I look like a fool, but I just, you know, <laughs> I, you know, once that, once out of me was telling me not to, to do anything, but the, but I was concerned about the dark, so I took the mask off and um, left the tail on, and I walked down the hill, and then coming out of the down with Stavia toward Make the Mill, and, um, which is the dead end street, uh, this way, was um, an SUV coming down, you know, toward, toward me. And I, I stepped down the road and tried to flag it, flag the, the driver of that SUV down. And it turned out to be a black woman. And her eyes were just really big and wide as she, as she kept, you know, she just kept on driving. She just totally ignored me. So uh, at that point, you know, I wasn't about to go walking up and down and knocking on everybody's doors. So I decided to uh, just walk across that yard and, and ring uh, the uh, Von Mahinlin doorbell. I knew, you know, Ninja was telling me I shouldn't do that, but I was concerned about the dog. So I went ahead and did it. Uh, I know, I, he, I always see him out here walking his dog. So I'm um, he knows the neighbors that have dogs up and down the street, his neighbor, and um, better than I would. And, uh, and I also see the, um, a uh, bird stand out on the patio, out on the driveway. I obviously had the bird. And, um, so, assuming that he was an animal lover, I went up and rang the doorbell, and, and it was kind of like a frosty glass at the door, um, uh, and at the entrance, and I could see somebody on the other side of it, and I kind of thought somebody kind of like hopping around, and then, um, and then, and then the window opened to, uh, there's a window on the, on the porch, which uh, opened up, and he, and he started yelling at me, get off my property, get off my property. He just kept saying that over and over, and I was barely able to say that I saw a dog um, you know, on the loose. Um, and he kept saying, get off my property. And um, and I finally, you're not concerned about that dog? What an asshole. And I said this as I turned around and started heading back toward my property. And uh, I was out on the street when I heard somebody behind me, and I turned around, and there was Ron Mahinlick in the driveway. I didn't, I didn't understand what he said. And I just turned away from him and said, you're on your own, and can send you back home. I did my part. Yeah. Um, I have no, absolutely no incentive being concerned about the welfare of that dog, which I'm thinking maybe belonged to one of my neighbors, gotten out of the backyard or something, except other than being concerned for the welfare of that dog. I don't care who the dog belongs to, Republican or Democrat or whatever. I just wanted to, yeah, you know, I was concerned about it. Well, you know, Ron Mahinlick, typical conservative, you know, during the past election, he had the two big uh, uh, Nathan Deal signs and Purdue and you know, everything about him conservative. They just don't get it. They just don't get it, you know. I'm concerned about all pets, even here, if you ever got loose. And he, they are only concerned about themselves. They cannot see beyond their insignificant, pathetic little life. So that's what, you know, the theme of my... Uh, uh, the sign today is, is going to be, uh, get off my property! Mm -hmm. 
So, um, they're the Methodist fag, not here to be liked. I'm here to wake the sheeple up. And um, as the, this is the Trinity of Jesus, Father, Son, and Holy Ghost. This is my version of the Trinity. Two substantive and one unsubstantive. Mine is going to be two unsubstantive and one substantive. I'm not a pearl, I'm not a pig, but I am an antichrist. I do not believe in the Trinity of Jesus. So again, the theme of today is get off my property! And, uh, and, uh, um, at a, uh, a nod of uh, my neighbor, Ron McHenley. Now I'm just going to let you read it on your own. It's windy. I hope you can read this. It's, it's, um, it's a sunny day, very windy too. And if you find that your hands are still well, and then you can turn a murder into art. Once you decide on the killing, first you make a stone of your heart. Then if you find that your hands are still well, and then you can turn a murder into art. For 2,000 years, Jesus has prevented himself on it for not having died on the sofa. If you don't sin, then Jesus died in vain. King Solomon recontextualized. Blonde Vic gone yet? Brunette ma made a call. That's me with my mother. My father deceived. I'm so drunk, Nick. Blonde made a call. That's just Janet Geary with her husband, George Robert Geary, senior doctor of theology, match of divinity. They used to live in the house directly across the street from him. Cock of the walk. Birch, the Bobbert family. That's just my take. Uh, they have a firstborn son, also a minister, uh, Bert. So Bob and Bert to George Robert Gary Sr. and Jr. The Bobbert family. They also have a daughter who's senior pastor at Mount Zion, um, Susan Gary Landry. Cock of the walk, Birch, the Bobbert family.
This is a Hosea joke, really. Hosea 6 9. Why did the Reverend Pervert knock his theology across the road? He ate, beep! What's ducking that chicken? Why did chicken cross the road? That cock was bigger. Um, <laughs> I hope you know what beep means. Um, everyone needs a church. Let carpool. The difference between a Christian, a Muslim, a Jew, and an atheist. They ain't dead yet. Roadwood Massacre. He was so big. Prepare Pernicious. He's so black, that boy. That just minds the Alpha Dodge Away competing with all the experience. Uh, George Robert Gary Sr. The Alpha Dodge Away calling him why nothing but just another pernicious prepare cut. Geopolitical shell. Do it thou well to be angry for the gourd? I do well to be angry even unto death. The sickness is uh, done as well. Pray it best, who loveth best, all things both great and small. For the dear God who loveth us, he made and loveth all. How can it be climate kept it? Pale blue dot. Uh, it's supposed to be DOT or, or dead on arrival, DOA. But it came out, uh, don't ask, don't tell. Back by accident. If I have told you earthly thing, then you do not believe. How will you believe if I tell you heavenly thing? It's weird how people behave and they just don't get it. They just don't get it. Well, they don't want to. Truth be God, universal one instead. The macro ejaculation. But oh, we're not that kind of Christian. Generally, the three white monkeys being being a sound mind body in action. They can also mean looking the other way, refusing to knowledge, faint and ignorant. When they uh, been in uh, both uh, views into a single narrative, they end up canceling each other out. You might as well hang them. I can't think of any better way to to, to symbolize the, the political divide in America today. Absolutely going nowhere. <laughs>